Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Hey, uh, today's Tuesday after Memorial Day. Mitch and I are up here uh, north, uh, kind of north of, and east of Van Wert, Ohio, and uh, had to think about that for a little bit, exactly where we were. But uh, what we're doing is we're installing uh, the Yetter knives uh, on these Yetter 2968s. You guys have seen the injectors that we run uh, behind this blade. Basically what we're doing is this knife just trails behind this blade to get that fertilizer laid right down in that slot. So this is the dual fertilizer placement system where we're getting the fertilizer placed on each side of the row. And uh, like I said before, he had the injectors and now he's upgrading to the knife option where that spring-loaded knife just rides down in the slot that's created by these blades. So this is a pretty unique setup. He's got the Yetter uh, floating 029 row cleaners up front with the precision clean sweep cylinder. And then he's got the dual placement fertilizer, spike closing wheels, followed by a packer wheel. So uh, this year, especially the closing wheel system and, and how we tuck that seat in there is going to be very crucial. My guys that have been planning Southern Ohio, Northern Ohio, they say it's fairly dry on top, but it's just spongy underneath. So if you haven't looked into some closing wheel options or something to enhance over factory cast or factory rubbers, something like this setup could be a good option for you. So that's what we're doing today, just installing the uh, Yetter knife option onto an already existing dual placement fertilizer kit on a 1770. Thanks for tuning in.